back to our channel is your girl Tamo Stitches. So today I'm going to be showing us how to draft a bustier blouse with a yoke. I'm going to be attaching um, a straight skirt to it, making it, you know, you can convert it to a gown, you can convert, you can leave it as a blouse and put a peplum, or can make it a straight gown. But the major concentration today is on the yoke part of the blouse. The bustier blouse with a yoke. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I love you all. Thank you for subscribing with me. Don't forget to share my video. Give us thumbs up. Love and share. No knowledge is a waste, says Thomas Teaches. So, without further ado, let's get to the cutting table. Subscribe, don't forget. So right here I have my pattern paper. I want to draft on a pattern. I have my measurements, my tape measure, my marker, my rulers, they're all here. They're all here. So let's get started. First, I like to have my starting line at the upper part here. I will measure one inch. Just to give it that buffer and just measure one inch all the way down. So I'm going to be putting all my vertical measurements. First, I start with the armhole. The armhole length is 9 inches. The bust point I'm using here is 10 and a half. The under bust I'm using here is 14 and a half. Then the half length I'm using is 16 inches. But I'll be adding 1 inch for allowance. So I'm going to transfer all that and make it in a straight line right now. So let's insert our shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement I'm using is 16. 16 divided by 2 give you 8. Bring it down to the armhole also. Same 8. Join it. Now I'll insert my bust measurement here. The bust measurement I'm using is 42 divided by 4. That will give me 10 and a half. I'll still bring it down to the bust point here. Same measurement. Then the waist measurement is 36 divided by 4. That will give me 9. I'll insert that here. And bring it down here also. So now I'll be left with this. Let me join them. So this is what I have. So let me put my armhole. Insert the armhole. Don't forget to have shoulder slant here of one inch. And the neckline I'm using here is three inches. I'm making a wide neck. You can use four inches for four to five inches for your canoe neck. But let me use three inches here. So I join that. So now I want to remove the yoke itself. So what I need to do now is from this my shoulder line, I'll minus 
five inches five inches or six inches or seven depends on how deep you want the neck but it's going to be transparent here so maybe let's work with seven let's work with six and a half six and a half so from here i measure my six and a half i make a line there So you can see the skeleton here now. So next now is to insert my boss to boss. Let me uh, don't forget this is boss point. Sorry, this is chest line. Here is boss point. This is under boss. This is waist line. Let's make no mistake. So now to insert the boss point measurement. The boss point measurement I have is eight. Eight divided by two gives you four. 4 plus half inch allowance, so I will, add, I will be placing 4 and a half inches. So all the way down from here, I'm marking that 4 and a half, 4 and a half, all the way up here. Let's make a line. So now let me insert my dart measurement. When I come to the under bust, I'm going to be inserting, you have between one and a half to two inches. Now it depends on how bust the person is. If the person is very busty, you can use two inches or two and a half. If the person is just moderate, you can use one and a half or one inch. But for the person I'm sewing for, I'll be using two inches here. And I'll come down here, I'll use Two inches also. I can use one and a half here at the waistline. I can use two inches, so I prefer to use same two inches here. Yeah. So now let me connect it. So when I want to connect it, I'm going to connect it from the under boss to the boss point, but I'll come down by just half inch to give some room space to give space for the cuff to be full. So I'll not do that like that. Now coming to the bust line, to the chest line, I'll be inserting that also. So I'll be inserting one inch here at this upper part and one inch at the other side. So let me connect that to this, to the boss point. Make sure it rhymes. And I'll connect this also to the other part. Now coming to this other side, like the center front now, I'll not be inserting uh, two inches again. I'll be inserting just one inch. I can take one inch, I can take half inch, but let me take one inch here. Join it to that bust point. Then come to the lower part, take the same one inch. Join them down. You can see that. So I'm done designing it out i want to extend this yoke line all the way down because i'm putting the front and the back together so all i need to do is measure whatever i have here which is and a half all the way down so i can get that line same with the other parts so i'll join the line together Okay, now I've taken one inch here. If you measure what we have here, we took two inch from this upper part as our dart. So we we'll have to see, place it back here 
and extend our armhole. So this will be our new armhole. I've extended that, which I took here. I have to return it back. Now I took here, the whole total I have here is about three inches. So I have to insert that back here. But I'll be adding extra sewing allowance. So that by the time you are done, it's, it's better it's excess than for it to be short. So you add whatever you have taken that here, pay it back. Come to the same place, do the same thing. And then you see put sewing allowance here also. So this is what we'll have now. I'm going here. So we'll be discarding this line. I've added all the allowance to two. It's better to have excess allowance than to be short of allowance. So now I'm done with the front. Let me go to the back. So I'll make a line here. Just a guidance here. Okay, so now this is the front. This is the front pattern. Now this is the back bodice pattern. So what I need to do now is to add my zip allowance, which I've done here, two inch. I join it down. You can see that. So this will call the zip allowance of two inch. So now let's insert our same shoulder measurement here. Which is eight inches. Bring it down. Eight inches. Don't forget this is our chest line and our bust point and our under bust. You can see what I'm doing. Okay. So now let me insert the same. These are armhole. Is nine inches shoulder slant, which is one inch neckline, which is three inches. Join it together a shoulder slant. Okay, neck depth I'm using for the back is just one inch. Okay. Don't move the machines. Um, like I said, I'm designing the back part, the back body uh, pattern. Here is our two inches for the zip allowance. So I've inserted our shoulder and our armhole, which is the same thing. I'm using the same pattern paper so it will be easier to have the same measurement. So now I'm inserting the neckline, which is three inches, neck depth of one inch. Put our curve, the round neck. So now I need to insert the same bust measurements we we'll have there. Bust divide by four to insert it here and put our armhole. I hope it's clear. So now we we'll insert our same measurement comes down here. And the waist measurement divide by four is what we're going to be inserting here. And bring it down also here so you get used to this by now you should know how to do this so all i need to do is insert my dart boss pan di uh, divide by two plus half inch i'm having four and a half here four and a half all the way to the chest line for the back is always longer You can cut it into two if you want, and you can decide to make it just plain like that. So I think I will just insert my one inch here 
one inch here, make it two inches, and then join it to the upper part. As I'll have here. That's our dart for the back. Now, don't forget, this is our yoke. We're using this to cut the yoke, and this is our back yoke and front yoke. So for the neckline for the front, I'll be using three inches. I don't want it too wide because it's a net. Okay. So um, I've done the front and the back bodies pattern of the upper part of my blouse. So let me cut it off now and place it on the material to cut, 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 cut. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share and give us thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section encourages us to do more. If you cut the front and the back together, it helps to guide the lines so that when you sew it can come out beautiful. So now for the front, if I want to put a sweet heart neckline, all I need to do is to come down here from that yoke line one inch or one and a half or one and a quarter do something like this and now cut it back cut it back like this With this now so now I have my six so I'm going to cut it off, cut places on the fabric and cut it also. Cut off the yoke, you can see that this for the back and this for the front. See how beautiful it looks already. I've also used the pattern to cut off the anchor and this is the fabric I'm using. I've cut off all of them so all you need to do now is take it to the machine and join them together so this is where our today lecture will be ending thank you very much for watching don't for forget to subscribe to our channel give us thumbs up like and share our video thank you and stay safe bye